Hey everyone, Zero Jade here with the XBLA Fans Channel. I'm here to do a quick taste of Demonic Supremacy, a game that on the store page claims to be a old school 3D FPS. That is a lie. It is a hyper generic wave survival game that just throws you into a room and makes you survive wave after wave of enemies that controls terribly. It's very floaty and the right stick sensitivity is just weird there's also absolutely no option to change it as you can see here you can't even invert it as well uh but yeah i have played the first three levels and i don't want to play anymore this is a chili dog interactive game so of course there's a cheat code you can input and skip levels just to get achievements and that's literally what this feels like uh bare minimum effort st stuff just thrown in there in a easy way to get achievements and also if you look at the upper left there it says panopticon Panopticon. Uh, I googled that and it says it is a way that cells like are laid out facing each other and once again very unlike a old school FPS you can buy upgrades before each level that only lasts for that level with the coins that you uh, earn. Uh, but yeah let's go. Uh, the only kind of decent thing about this is the music. Oh uh, oh, I almost forgot. The story is essentially uh, Hell Towers appeared, and you are gonna stop that. Uh, I do have abilities. I have this, like, stun ability that kind of works. Uh-oh. Oh. I also have a shotgun with infinite ammo. Uh, some weapons have vibration. The minigun has vibration. The shotgun doesn't. The laser, I don't remember it having it. But yeah, these totally look like enemies that you would buy from, like, a, a texture pack. Uh, or, like, pre-made asset pack sort of thing. Weapons also have, like, no real feel when they hit enemies. And sometimes the enemies kind of clip into the walls. If you look at the left there, I got my health and I'm building up a, a rage meter that will sometimes kill everything that it hits. Maybe they just have to be closer. That went through a wall. Oh, hello. Yay! I stun. Nope. Apparently, that doesn't always stun them. All right. I do like that the music makes it harder for you to figure out where the enemy is coming from. Oh, and I do have a dash that I'm not convinced is faster than me just uh, side strafing. And it takes way too many shotguns, uh, shells to kill these things. It just makes the weapon not feel cool. That wasn't uh, the enemy recoiling, by the way. That was him uh, jumping onto a wall. I played this level earlier. Uh, all that's at the other end of the arena is some chests with money in them. And that's about it. Oh. Oh, he was pre-shooting before I came around that corner. Oh, and he spawned in. All right. This is the worst shotgun I have ever used in a video game. I don't agree that that hit me. Oh, that one took two shots. Maybe three? I don't know. I honestly don't know what to say. This literally just feels like it was pumped out so they could slap Easy Gamer Score on it and sell it for super cheap. Which is sad, because that seems to be happening more and more with the Xbox store. Oh, music ended. I think it's the same music. Where is the enemy? There they are. Oh, 
Uh, I did watch some videos for this, and uh, the editing's fairly clever. They've edited it to kind of make it look like it is not a, uh, like, just this, where you're just stuck in a corridor or, like, like one or two connected rooms. It's, it's very sneaky. Hey, we did it, and I don't feel fulfilled at all. Spiky Crisis, let's go. All right, so do you, no, that one also does not have a uh, recoil. All right, how do you feel? So this one looks like I have a uh, limited health. Oh, there's some health. I got a dominator. Oh, this is my super ability. There it goes. Look at him spin. Oh, it's so funny. This honestly feels like a high school project that some kid made up. This is a terrible level. Like, I don't want to keep playing this. It's not fun. It controls terribly. It doesn't look the best. It feels low effort. This music's pretty decent. Anything else I can pick up in here? Oh yeah, there's some health over here. Yay! Oh no, I'm no, they're not gonna get me. Nope, oh, I <laughs> I fall to my side and my gun slowly slides away. All right, we're just gonna, I guess we'll just stand here at first and mow them down. It's so weird that only one weapon has recoil. Also, there's like four weapons. It's this, a minigun, the shotgun that you have seen, uh, and then the, I guess the BFG of this game, which you have to charge up and it sh shoots a very slow, very BFG looking ball, but red. I like that when they are stunned, they do kind of T-pose. I guess I do get invulnerability when I uh, dash. I like how they walk like they're literally on a like a little leisurely stroll. Eh, well, you can't dash through the enemy. I want to look at that one more time. Hold on. You you literally feel like you're roller skating. Like, look at them. They're just like oh boop 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 boop. But yeah, this is very much a trend of make a game, put a bunch of achievements in it, put a uh, cheat code in it for Chili Dog Interactive. And I'm dead. And I honestly don't care. I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Uh, I usually don't say this for games. I know that making video games is hard. Don't buy this game. Don't encourage this this sort of development. Just like this is not a old school FPS. This is a oh, there are fifty levels. Wow. Uh, it is. This is just we're gonna make it this thing. Put achievements in it. Put a cheat code so you don't have to play it. Which is also sad because I covered a previous Chili Dog game that actually had some like neat ideas. It was a platformer. Uh, where you had to kind of circumvent the level at times and it's no, they're just going to put achievements in it and people are going to skip it. And then this is, this comes out and it's, it's, this is terrible. I am zero JD. This is the XLA fans channel. Have a nice day.